Pull, good pull. Let's go. Step that right foot hard. Steps turn the angle. Good. Punch. Get away. Tough. Now, today's video, I'm going to be talking about RJ Hampton. So we all know RJ is currently getting ready for the 2020 NBA Draft after finishing off his rookie year in the NBL, playing with the New Zealand Breakers. But this video, I just want to talk about RJ's insane workout routine and just give you guys my opinion on where he currently stands in the NBA Draft. But before I start this video, make sure you guys go follow me on Instagram at underscore the only Wallace and also go subscribe to my second channel called TK Wallace Vlogs. I will put both of those links in the description below so you guys can go check it out. Now let's get to the video. So first, let's talk about RJ Hampton. Now we all know RJ was a top player in his class before he decided to go overseas. He was ranked fifth in the class of 2019, holding offers from different schools like Duke, Kentucky, Memphis, Kansas, and many more. So as you can see, RJ Hampton basically had offers from every single school in the country because he was a top player, of course. But he decided to take his talents overseas to fill out the NBL, playing against better competition, as in professional athletes, and entering the 2020 NBA Draft. And that's what he's doing right now, as you can see. But this video, I just really want to talk about RJ Hampton's the same workout routine because I don't know if you guys could tell, but ever since RJ Hampton went overseas, you know, in the NBL to play with the New Zealand Breakers, he has gained a lot of muscle and weight. So it's just like he has really been putting on a lot of body mass with him ever since he went overseas. And I can just tell he really has been doing crazy, insane workouts because his body is really different from how it was looking before he went overseas. You know, because when RJ Hampton was in high school, he was really skinny. And same with LaMelo Ball because LaMelo actually got bigger too once he went overseas. If you guys have not seen my last video I did on LaMelo Ball's insane workout routine, make sure you guys go check it out. I will put it in the description below so you guys can go check it out. But for RJ Hampton, it's the exact same thing for him because they both was playing overseas in the NBL and getting ready for the NBA draft. But here's the thing, let's talk about RJ Hampton's game when he was playing with the New Zealand Breakers. Now, we all know he wasn't playing as good as LaMelo Ball. That's why RJ Hampton currently is not projected as a top five pick how he used to during the beginning of the season. Or right now, he's not even projected as a top 10 pick. When I looked on an article, it said that RJ Hampton is projected around the number 11 pick to the 22nd. So basically, a first round pick. In my opinion, it's definitely possible for him to be a lottery pick just because of what he has done playing overseas. Don't forget him playing overseas, he's playing against professional athletes. So, you know, it's really different from him going to college. So NBA scouts are definitely going to give RJ Hampton the upper hand, even though he was only averaging eight points, two assists, three rebounds, shooting 40 field goal percentage. 
he was playing against grown men literally straight out of high school and he was already contributing so you know he's already going to get an upper hand for that and on top of that when rj hampton was averaging 30 plus minutes he averaged 15 points four assists six rebounds and shooting 43 field goal percentage so that's definitely a good thing for rj i don't think people even realize those stats so i had to just bring it up in the video now let's talk about his game so just watching rj throughout playing overseas you know his strong suit is running the fast break i really like seeing rj run the fast break because this guy he just unstoppable man he is so versatile and he just know how to just overpower his defenders and he's fast on top of that so it's really hard to stop him and that's why they say there's a high chance that the Orlando Magic might want to draft RJ Hampton just because of that you know him running alongside with Markel Fultz we all know Markel Fultz like to run the fast break and the Orlando Magic is a really young team so you know they're just trying to build young players and all types of stuff so you know, the Orlando Magic definitely is looking at RJ Hampton. But yeah, just watching RJ's game throughout this season, his game meshed together so well because when you just think about it, he's very explosive, he's extremely fast, and he's athletic. So put all three of those together, man. This guy is very unstoppable, like for real. He's unstoppable. The only thing about RJ Hampton is that he just need to work on his efficiency and just, you know, taking better shots because sometimes he will try to attack the basket on bigger defenders and he'll just throw the ball up and it'll just look so stupid, you know? Sometimes he just do little things. It's just like, okay, you didn't have to do that. But he is young and he's still learning about himself and he's still just becoming a better professional athlete. Another thing that I realized about RJ Hampton game is that he really need to work on his jump shot. You know, he was shooting 29% from the three-point line and 43% field goal percentage. And, you know, most of his field goal percentage, he was driving into the paint and just getting air ones and layups and all that stuff. But when it comes to strictly his jump shot, I really feel like RJ Hampton really, really need to focus more on his jump shot. Because in my opinion, if RJ Hampton would have had a really solid jump shot, this guy for sure would be a top 10 pick. Or maybe top five like for real man like his jump shot really is a big factor in his game because you know at first when i saw him shoot the ball when he first went overseas playing for the new zealand breakers i was just like why was he shooting like that you know his his shot looked kind of weird it, it looks like it got like a little tweak in it and just watching him shoot the ball during actual games he's not consistent at all definitely from the three-point line so it's just like RJ Hampton really do need to work on his jump shot. But besides that, you know, his overall game is very, very solid. You know, he's just getting better and better. And I'm very excited to watch RJ Hampton once he enters the league. I can't wait to see him play in the summer league because I feel like RJ Hampton is going to ball out in the summer league. He's that type of guy to just ball out like that. And I know he eventually will. So I'm just very excited to see what he's going to do. Last thing I want to talk about is RJ Hampton's draft projection. So when I looked at an article, it seems like, like I said, he will be a first round pick and the teams that's looking at him, it seems like it's going to be Portland Trailblazers, Orlando Magic and the Boston Celtics. So I want you guys to keep your eyes on those teams because I feel like he will work out with them eventually before the NBA draft and we just got to see what's going to happen. But I'm definitely going to keep you guys updated on everything when it comes to RJ Hampton. So stay tuned. I thank you guys for watching. If you make sure you like and subscribe, make sure you press the notification button. Take your game. We out. This guy really is something special. And I see why he's right now projected as the fifth pick in the 2020 NBA draft because he's something special. But the only way RJ Hampton is going to be a top five pick in the NBA draft is if he stay consistent. He cannot keep shooting bad. He can't be shooting one for eight from the field goal percentage and, you know, scoring seven points per game and stuff like that. Like, no, he can't be doing that. He really has to take over. If you guys are not informed, just today, he played his first regular season game with the New Zealand Breakers in the NBL. They went against the Sydney Kings. RJ only scored seven points. He shot three for seven from the field goal. He had three assists, two steals, and one block. So, you know, that's okay stats. But at the same time, if he really wants to become a top five pick in the draft, like how he is projected to be, he really have to bring up his stats and he have to show these scouts that he can stay consistent with his game because this is just overseas. Just imagine once he goes to the NBA. You know, we already had a taste of him playing in the NBA. So it's just like... RJ really has to focus and just step his game up.